I just turned 21, and that means in the United States of America, I am legally allowed to drink. I have never really made drinks before, but I got this bartending set for my birthday, which means that today I'm going to learn, hopefully. We're gonna start classic with a gin martini, because it is my mom's favorite. You wanna say anything, mom? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what things do for the most part. How many ounces is this? They tell me to gather the ingredients. I can do that. So we need gin. Mother has chosen bomb Bombay Sapphire Distilled London Dry Gin. A half ounce of dry vermouth. We have Noir Prat. It is extra dry, which is odd as this is a liquid. We need orange bitters, and I managed to get a three pack of bitters, so we're gonna be bitter today. Lastly, lemon twist or one to three olives for garnish, and we got a big mm. lemon in here, so we are set. In a mixing glass filled with ice cubes. I need ice cubes. Go to the freezer. I don't have a mixing glass, so we're gonna put it in this. Combine the gin and the vermouth. Pouring more or less vermouth to your taste. Gin, we need two and a half ounces, so that's quite a bit of this. Let's see if I can get that real nice crack of the gin glass. Ooh, two ounces. One, two, and a half. I'm getting it all over my hands. This is not good. Need more practice. I'm a professional, don't worry. We got in amount, and we need a half ounce dry vermouth. Is it open? Don't laugh at me! Help! It's on there. We're having some difficulties. Or we need to call father. Father, we require assistance. He's coming. Don't laugh at me. Success. It took three people. Thank you, father. Now back to it. We need a half ounce of this. All that for half an ounce. Bloop. That smells like rat poison. Okay, one dash of orange bitters. We're gonna do some sweet, sweet orange. Not sweet, actually, it's bitters. I can open this by myself. Is that a dash? Okay. That's enough. I don't want to do too much. Spoon. This spins, by the way. I gotta do this for 30 seconds. Come here often? I think that should be enough. Oh wait, I was supposed to put the bitters in after. Oops! And we have a really nice martini glass. This is very reminiscent of New Year's Day. Voila. Beautiful. The only thing left we need is a lemon. It says lemon twist. I'm not sure what they mean. Oh! You twist the lemon. Be nice. That's why I'm doing it towards the camera. Sorry, viewers. Ta-da! <laughs> Gin martini. I am covered in lemon. We need to get the professional's approval. Tell us of the flavor. It's perfect. Out of ten? Nine and a half. Ooh! Right off the bat, I am the best. Here's drink two. We're making a mojito, and this came with my bartending kit. It has all the ingredients that I need on this nifty little note card. How do I rim a glass? Don't answer that, gay people. I have to rim it with sugar. Will the glass pick it up? Oh! <laughs> Wait, I'm drinking and it's affecting you? Listen, we're family here. We don't have mint leaves, however, I have a solution. There is mint tea. So we're gonna open one of these tea bags and pray. My brain is so big, you have no idea. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to smell a lot like it too. Muddle limes, sugar, and mint into glass. Get the muddler. I'm familiar. This is the glass. Muddling is just squishing them. I'm learning the techniques of the professionals. Life hack, eat leaves. So we're just gonna put a little bit in there. Put it all in there. All of it? All right. You heard it straight from her, folks. Straight from the professional. I'm just a professional drinker, not a professional maker. <laughs> this feels sacrilegious, because I'm used to just making things that have to squeeze the stuff in it. So throwing it in there feels like I'm, like I'm making lemonade and I'm just like, whole lemon! It doesn't matter. <laughs> One teaspoon sugar. Ugh! This is our sugar boy. He carries the sugar for us. Bloop. I think I should also put some on there. How are you gonna rim it now with all the stuff inside of it? Perhaps future me is now dealing with the consequences. Dinner. We're not gonna worry about it. It's a special tool that will help us later. Has it been muddled? I think it's been pulverized. Okay. Now we put the leaders of the show. Bacardi and Club Soda. How many milliliters? 60. I'm gonna be off one. And then club soda. How many club soda? Same amount. Okay. Okay, we're safe. No explosions happened in the course of this video. We're only a little bit in though, so if you're hoping for an explosion, keep those hopes up. Topped with crushed ice. I'm not gonna crush the ice. I don't have Hulk strength. However, I will put a couple cubes. You get two cubes. You've been nice. Now I have to stir it again. I might use the spiky side just to make sure all the bad boys get what they're supposed to. It looks like green juice. I think you're gonna have to drain that. Okay, hold on. Just... No, don't go in there. 
Okay, I won't. Now you're gonna have to restrain it because it already had like the tea leaves in there. I think it's gonna have leaves in it, whether you want it or not. Drink. Water. <laughs> I'm expecting a snake to come out of it. I call this the Loch Ness specialty. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. My curiosity is boiling. <laughs> Yum. Professional opinion. It's not bad. It's very minty. I wonder why. Maybe we shouldn't have put the whole bag in there. Maybe not. Out of ten? This one needs work. I'd say probably a four. Oh, you can't win them all, folks. I will be better this time. I will be the very best like no one ever was. What's the next drink? Okay, I think the martini is having a type. No. Next drink, we have the Smirnoff Pink Cosmo, which is described as sweet, fruity, and party. And those three things also happen to describe me. So, we're gonna make it. We're gonna need some Smirnoff Pink Lemonade, and I'm gonna be honest, I picked this up at the store just because it looked pretty. We need orange liqueur, which Mother has graciously allowed us to use. This beautiful glass of Grand Mar 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 Marnier. It is quite a presentation piece. Fresh lime juice and fresh lemonade and we don't have fresh lemonade but I do have this that has been in my fridge for an amount of time. Oh I need to fill the shaker with ice. I get to be a real bartender now. Add Smirnoff pink lemonade. I'm very excited for this. Hopefully this tastes as good as I think it does but it probably won't because I hate alcohol. Surprise! That's the twist of this video but you know what? You're gonna keep watching it because the sunk cost fallacy states that once you start something as a human being you feel the urge to finish it so you're in this for the long run. It's pink! It wants five ounces of orange liqueur. We're going down tonight. I'm a weak individual. Ooh, that was a nice noise. Let's see if I can hear that again. Okay, five. <laughs> One, two. Is that many? It says five. Three. It says five! Okay, somebody's getting drunk tonight. So, okay, so I add the lime juice. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> She's not helping me. My bad. <laughs> Where are your juices? All that's crazy for that. My rage is unmatched. New lime. Is a lime when you're kind of fruity, but not really? I have enough. Just need one ounce of this lemonade. Nice. In you go. Shake for 10 seconds. My hands hurt. It's so cold. I want to shake it more. I feel like I'm making potions. I bought this at Dollar Tree. It says to strain, so I'm gonna do that. So right off the bat, I don't like the color. It looks like dehydrated piss. You were wrong. It says to garnish with a lime wheel. Come get a look at this. She's gorgeous. I'm very proud of this. If it doesn't taste good, I'm going to cause problems. Give us your thought process. Yum! It's good? It's the best one yet! Rate it out of 10? 12 out of 10. Ooh! Woo! Success! We have pleased mother. Yes, that one's gonna be a staple. Now we're gonna get weird. <laughs> this next drink is a drink that I created myself. I heard that there was something called a vodka cranberry, so I decided to make a vodka sprite cranberry. This, I think, is a mixed drink. So, I need some ice cubes which have been graciously provided to me by my birth giver, and one and a half ounces of absolute vodka. Now, I don't have that. However, I do have Tito's. All right, so one half ounce. One and a half. Now, we need five ounces of cranberry juice. However, we don't have cranberry juice. They didn't have any smaller. So we have Sprite Cranberry. You might know from the famous commercial with LeBron. Yes, it's LeBron. LeBron James. He will not be making an appearance. LeBron will not be making an appearance. However, he will be in our hearts forever. So I need five ounces of this. If it explodes, all the people that had their hopes up for an explosion earlier are going to be very excited. However, I don't think that it, that is the case. This might just taste like a seltzer, which I wouldn't be mad at. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. I get to mix again, yay! Now these are potions. The Sprite itself might dilute the vodka, so it might make it more tolerable for people that hate alcohol. So I will try this one as well. 
that's not bad. The aftertaste of vodka is there, but it's not bad. The cranberry flavor is actually there, but it's like a weird mix of Sprite. I would actually recommend this. Professional opinion. You're right. You don't taste the alcohol. Like you're soda. Success! You need a holiday drink? Vodka Sprite Cranberry. For the grand finale, I'm going to be making the drink that tastes. Now, if you're unfamiliar, the drink that tastes is a drink from a popular Tumblr post from sometime in this era. And it was somebody that accidentally stumbled upon this recipe. It is Cranberry Mike's Harder and Cucumber Lime Gatorade. Now, they say that this drink has an unidentifiable flavor. It is exactly how half of each. So I'm gonna be using the big mixer here. I think I'm gonna do half a cup of each. Let's hope it's something we like. Half a cup of cucumber lime Gatorade. I feel like I could have done like a cup. Should I add more? Too many? From here, you can very much smell the cucumber. <laughs> Fun fact about the first time that I made this, we couldn't find Cranberry Mike's Harder. We drove to multiple different places and we could only find it in an assorted six pack of other Mike's Harder flavors. We spent like an hour and a half trying to find this just so we could make this drink. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I feel like I'm making a science experiment. Let's drop a cube in there for safe and mix. I like the turning of the green to the reddish color. It's like the corruption of the Gatorade. I would love to hear you guys try to describe the flavor of this drink. That's your goal today. I'm gonna have a sip. They were correct. It is a flavor. Professional's opinion. It's cucumbery, but it's Berry? Yeah, it's berry, but it's not. But it's cucumber, but it's not. I can't make it out. You taste berry, but the aftertaste is cucumber. And it is so confusing. You expect a berry aftertaste, but you don't get it. It is a flavor. Make it. Do it. Thank you for watching. Please show me you making these drinks. Tell me what you think of them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, you are loved ones and appreciated. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Editing Spade here with a special announcement. We hit 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for your support lately. It really means a lot to me. Next up, 1,000. Hopefully we'll hit that by next year. Okay, bye for real now. <laughs>